Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro Reignited Trilogy, or Spyro 2, or whatever it is I'm calling this part of the series. Ravenous Rage, this one. Um, so last time we went to the second hub world, which is called Autumn Plains, and we learned how to climb. Uh, which is significant because there's a whole bunch of stuff back here in Summer Forest that you can't do unless you have the ability to climb. Which is why all of this stuff wasn't done yet. So we've done the hub world here now by using climbing, so now we're going to go to Glimmer, finish that one off, then we're going to move on, do Idle Springs, do Sunny Beach, and then we should be pretty much done with Summer Forest, unless I go back and do the flying level, but you know me and flying levels, I don't like them. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so first up we've got to go to Glimmer. Whoosh. Here we are in Glimmer. Okay, so if we take a look around, I forget exactly where the part we need to be at is. Uh, I think it's closer to the end though, so let's head Hi, in. Spyro. Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems! Can you stop them? Uh, sure. Didn't we already do this, though? Yeah. Huh, oh, that's interesting. The, like, uh, counter for how many enemies I've killed has reset itself. Do I, have to do, do I actually have to do it again to unlock the power-up? Hmm. I'm not sure. Looks like I missed a bunch of stuff in this level, jeez. <laughs> there are some gems out there in the open right at the beginning. Um, anyway, um, the ladder is, I believe... That's just a butterfly thing, right? Yes. The ladder we need to get to is... Keep going this way. Somewhere in the middle. Near where money bags is. Or was, anyway, we defeated him already. Here, here's the ladder. Okay, so to activate that power-up, we need to get ten. And we haven't got ten, so we'll have to probably... some gem lamps in this cave, too. But they're even harder to keep going. You'll definitely need this superfly power-up to light the lamps. Alright. Well, I need ten enemies in order to activate it, so... Let me just collect all the gems I can first. Yeah, I guess the enemy counter just resets when you revisit a level. That's annoying. Because the first game did not do that. Um... There we go. Okay. Um, so that's ten. So now I should be able to go back and use that Superfly power up to get the last orb here. There's still some more treasure to go though, right? Yes. But we'll do the, we'll do the, um, the orb thing and see if that, that helps us. Yep, up the ladder. Hey, great. Let's go. Um, did I go the wrong way? I guess I must have done. having some trouble with this. <laughs> okay, I have to do them all in one go, so it's not as annoying as the regular flying levels by a long shot. I can just go back to the power-up and do it again. So this shouldn't be too tricky at all, uh, thankfully. Also, the reason I couldn't see them is because they're all different colors, so I'm expecting to be the same color. Hmm. 
Oh, there we go, the yellow one over there. Let me just grab these gems. <laughs> okay, that's all the gems. All we gotta do is hit that last, those last couple of lamps and we should be good. Oh, the lamps are actually going out. Okay, so I have to be, I have to be a bit quicker. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, so let's just take off here. As long as we do it in one loop, it should be fine, but that won't be too tricky. See? Easy. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. For a while, Welcome. I was afraid we were going to have to cancel tonight's baseball game. Here, somebody mixed this orbit with the baseball, baseball game. In a, in a cave? Alright. <laughs> Seems pretty weird, but alright. Um, let's check the guidebook. Cool, so Glim is completely done now, so we'll just head back out and make our way to Idle Springs. That was pretty easy, really. Um, even with me messing up a lot. Granted, it is the first level in the game, so you'd expect it to be pretty easy. Yeah, we've got, I've already got the talisman, thanks. I guess it resets a bunch of stuff when you revisit the level. There we go. Anyway, Glimmer's done. Glimmer is done. Plays the cutscene again too, apparently. I don't know if this is the same one or not. I don't remember what it was in this, this area. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, Glimmer done. On to Idle Springs. Breathe in some fire. Breathe in it out of our snoot. Wearing our sunglasses cause we're gay. Do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> wow. There we go. Uh, okay, so we look at the thing. Glimmer's complete. Idle Springs is this way. We can actually fast travel there, but we're not going to. We're just going to walk. It's not too far. Yeah, Idle Springs. Okay, so there should be another orb to get here, plus some more treasure. And we can breathe some fire if you want. Wow. Lucky little wingies. Do some barrel rolls if you want. I'm not sure why it's replaying all the cutscenes and stuff, but that's what it does. I don't know, I haven't played enough Spyro 2 to know what happens when you revisit levels that you've already done. Okay, I can skip that. I pressed, um, X. The, um, the flutter button. Yeah, okay, so I guess it just replays the stuff you saw from the first time. That's kind of weird. Okay, um, I believe we couldn't actually dive before either, so there'll be stuff underwater here. Because this level was before we unlocked diving, and it does have some water in it, so... Let's just dive on down here and grab some gems and things. Glimmer, um, also, we couldn't dive when we played through Glimmer, but there's no water in that level, so we don't have to redo that part of it. We'd have to do the climbing part, which we did. So, that's cool. How are we doing treasure-wise? We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, there's a big treasure chest here. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. Oh, puzzles. The puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. 
Okay, I turn all the blocks yellow. Um, is it one of these puzzles? Yes, it is. All right. All right. <laughs> it's a it's a lights out puzzle because of course it is. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um. I'm not very good at these. Yeah, I'm not very good at these. Let me think. Hmm. Go. Heck yeah. Oh, Spyro, you did it. Uh, I mean, uh, I know you could do it. Now, <laughs> meet me at the pond for the next challenge. The pond? What pond? Is it this one? Where's the pond? <laughs> I don't know where that is. Do I just go back this way? Says he's yes, okay. He won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Okay. A blue one's okay. I guess so. They're not red ones. Yeah, it says blue and yellow in the corner there, so I assume they're the ones I can give him. This is kind of a silly mini game. Also a bit annoying if you're colorblind, because the fish only seem to differ by their color. Splash. <laughs> um there we go. Okay, Spyro, just one colored stones. What colored stones? Still a treasure over there, which you don't know how to get. Maybe it'll come apparent shortly. Where are these coloured stones? I guess I'll keep going till I find some. Those are mushrooms. <laughs> Those are not coloured stones. Uh, this water's shallow, you can't dive in it, so there won't be anything to dive down and get. My nose itches. Um, let's see. Colored stones. Jeez, good thing the good guys are fireproof. <laughs> hmm. Um, but I guess we'll just keep going. I can see that there's like a flashing circle on the map. Maybe that's where I need to go. I seem to be going away from that, so maybe not. Maybe it's going the wrong way though. Unlock the door. There we go. Do I actually have keys where they're gonna smash all the locks. Aha, colored stones, here we go. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. 
All right. What's the first one? If you jump up. Oh, I guess that. I guess that was the first one. Hmm. Let me see. Well, that was a star, so I'll jump on the other star. And then the other one that's the same color. Nope, that was wrong. Hmm. The other star. And then maybe the other one that's the same shape. Could be this one. Yep, and then the other one that's the same color. Another one that matches that, which is this one. And then this one. Okay. Oh, <gasps> the treasure nice chest job, opened. Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all <laughs> it's a bit I racist. Have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our tool <gasps> Is it an orb? It is an orb. Yay! Okay, so we have all the orbs here, I believe. We're still short some treasure though. So let's have a bit of a hunt and see what we can find. Oh, there's some. Underwater? I don't think so, but let's just swim around a bit and have a quick look. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so. How are we gonna get that one? I don't think um, charging out of the water gives us enough height, but maybe it does. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay, let's continue on and look for something we can climb, because I have a feeling there was something in this level that we could climb that might help us reach the other treasure and the like. Ooh. Somewhere close to the end, maybe. the exit. Um, we don't want to exit just yet, though. We want to keep looking around. Hmm. Because we're short some treasure. Is there any back here? There's some water back here. You can swim in. Is there any advantage to doing that? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't seem to go much for anywhere. It's just like a backtracking path. Where is it? Hmm. Ah! Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Just ram that guy in the face. There we go. These levels are kind of small if you think about it. They feel bigger the first time through because you're not really sure what to expect, but they're not that big. Okay, that guy gives you the talisman, but I already have the talisman, so that's not helpful. See? Hmm. Let's try going this way towards where the hula girls were. There might have been something else over there, like a like a ladder or something. Hmm, there's a supercharge power up, but I can't really get it out of that little area, so it wouldn't help me very much, I think. Hmm. However, I can get into these ledges. Go around this way. Ah! Oh. There we go. We can continue going this way for quite some time, by the looks of things. Um. Oh! Gems! I say gems! <laughs> okay, so I'm meant to go onto this sort of treehouse thing here. Like this, and then we can fly over here. There we go. And then from there we can glide over here. Do another little flutter. There we go. Little, little flutter shot. And we can shoot off this little rocket. Which breaks that open. And then we can glide our way over there to get the last couple of gems. 
Very nice. Some of them fell in the water, so we'll dive down to grab those, and then we should theoretically have everything in this level. Yep, 400 out of 400. 100% level complete. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Won't take too long to just head back to the return home portal again, because this level is quite small, despite initial impressions that you may have had. <laughs> um, and then there's one more level, which is the beach, right? Sunny beach, yeah. Uh, I believe there's two orbs to get there and some more treasure. So we'll head back to Sunny Beach as soon as we're done here. Which we are, but it's heading to the exit. You can exit from the menu, but uh, I like going back to the portal. It just feels tidy. Clunk. There we go. Get that. Treasure found. Returning to summer forest, yeah. <laughs> Returning to summer forest, doing flips on the way to summer forest. I maybe should edit out the loading, but I can't be bothered. Don't really have the spoons for that. And sometimes I sing a song on the loading and you probably don't want to miss out. <laughs> okay, uh, so Sunny Beach is through here, the underwater section. There we go. Gotta get the switch and then that switch. And then Sunny Beach is just over there. Okay, so there should be two more orbs to get, and some treasure, probably. Yeah, another 20 treasure. Not a whole lot. Which is interesting, if you think about it. Usually there's more than that. Um, once we've done that, we are done for this video. And in the next video, we will return to Autumn Plains and do some new levels. <laughs> so, um, yeah, look forward to that. It's gonna be exciting. Uh, I'll do a couple flips here. That's what I'm talking about. Spyro flips. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, we already saw that. I guess it just replays the story every time you visit the area, which is kind of weird. Hi, Spyro. Uh, I need to talk to this guy again. You, go that way. I don't really need to do the main storyline for the level, I just need to get to the place where the ladder is so I can climb the ladder. Oddly enough, there wasn't a ladder in Idle Springs. Well, I could have done that as soon as we had diving. Um, but I didn't think to do it as soon as we had diving, so it had to wait. <laughs> okay, you can see there's some treasure up there, I believe. We have to open that up by getting this guy onto the switch. Okay, there's the ladder. At least one of the ladders. I think there might be more than one in this area. But this is one of the ladders. Oops. Uh, let's climb back up and have another look around. Okay, so that lets us climb up to here. Then we can fly over there. Oop. Dang it. <laughs> climb, Spyro. Climb as though your, your loot depended on it. Because it does. I tried to flutter and it just made me drop for some reason. Hmm. Let's try not fluttering and see if that helps. Nope, there we go. Had to flutter after all. Hmm. Okay, um, then we want to activate that switch over there. Go that way, little turtle. Or big turtle, I guess. Big old turtle. There we go. Good thing these penguins and stuff don't want to attack the little turtles, they only want to attack me. It's useful, because the little turtles have no defences whatsoever, whereas I have fire and all that, and I can deal with them. Another ladder over there. 
Hello, young one. There's a chef up at the top of this ladder who wants yes, to make super Moppet, I will help turtles. you. Maybe you could climb up there and stop him? Yep, let's go. I didn't mean to skip that. Um, let's leave and then come back and you'll probably ask us again, right? Alright, um... Hmm... Maybe if I mess it up? Let's deliberately mess it up. Go turtle, go! Are they deliberately jumping in there? Why? That's messed up. Mm -hmm. I love the smell of turtle soup in the morning, huh? <laughs> I suppose y'all can try one more time, but I doubt you. Mm -hmm. Okay, he doesn't want to say the first thing again. Do I have to just kill the turtles or what? Okay, if I flame them, they, they go away. Why are they trying to jump into the cauldron? What is happening? This is so weird. Like, I'm, I'm cooking them. Like, I'm using flame on them. To keep them away from being cooked in the, in the, in the cauldron. This, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Do I do it for like a certain amount of time, or...? I don't know. I don't see a timer or anything, I just keep doing it until they all not go in the soup, or what? Maybe I need to try to lead them to the water, which is over there. They really seem to want to go in that soup, <laughs> what the hell? What is wrong with you turtles? Okay, yeah, I think I'm supposed to lead them into the water. Did I just lose? Oh, I guess I messed it up. This is so weird. Okay, you, go that way. Make a lot of sense. <laughs> so you saved a few turtles. There are more where those came from. Oh no. Take this orb and go away. Okay, I got an orb. But I need to get another orb. You have two. So I have to do this again. Uh, but first let's just jump down here because there's a bit of treasure. Oh. Try to jump down there again. No, it won't let me. Alright, I guess I'll just do this again. Alright, so is this the same thing as before? The turtle's just randomly trying to jump into the soup for no reason? I guess so. I don't get it. <laughs> what, why are they trying to jump into the soup? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Is it even soup if there's no turtles in it? Like, isn't it just like water? Ah! Oh god, there's so many of them. Oh my god! Get in the pool, you foolish turtle! Oh my god! <laughs> can I go in the? Can I go down here yet? No, you're not allowed to do that. All right, maybe charging them will work better. 
Okay, yeah, charging them works way better. That's way easier. Okay, I should have been doing that the whole time. They just spin away. Easy. Okay. I still don't understand why they're trying to put themselves into the soup, but whatever. Yeah, this is much easier. Much easier. Since it's just one bolt and they go all the way into the pool, which is where they need to be to win. So. Whereas with the flame, they walk a little distance and then they turn around and try to kill themselves again. Because this game is weird. I don't know why there's no, like, number on the screen to tell me how many turtles I have to save. Rats. You saved every turtle on the beach. Portal. Take this. Every turtle. Portal. <laughs> You're using an orc to buy potatoes? Alright. Well, I saved every turtle on the beach, so... Go, go me, I guess. Now I'm gonna go over here and get these gems. I was trying to do earlier, but you wouldn't let me. This is why I put all the turtles, and they're not in here. So did, did the penguin just trick me into putting them into a soup or something through here? Because the turtles aren't there. Hmm. Anyway, level 100% completed. Yay! <laughs> oh my god. Ow. Jack. Okay, let's just finish this off. Come in this way. See, charging these ones doesn't make them go spinning. It's just the ones in the minigame that do that. Keep going that way. There we go. Let's get out of here. Okay, so that's it for this video, I guess. Um, I have finished all the stuff that I'm going to be doing in um, Summer Forest. I might come back and have a look at the flying level again, but again, I'm not going to bother. I'm really not going to bother with those. I, I bet there's something you unlock for 100% completion of that, but I'm not going to do it on camera. I, I might take another look at that later, like I did with the first game, or will do with the first game. I haven't done it yet. Um, but yeah. Everything else in Summer Forest is now 100% complete, and that's about all I care about. The actual levels. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the forest standing on the edge with little footsies. That's cute. Little, little, little feet. Little feet. Little, little spiral feet. That's cute. Little, little, little feet. Okay, uh, I'll just take myself back to Autumn Plains. You can warp there, but the, like, actual, like, portal between the worlds is just over here, so might as well do it this way. Also, I should look for a sheep or something other way, because I got hit. There we go, Autumn Plains. Wow, that lag. Wow, I don't know if you're seeing that. I mean, you probably are, because, like, I'm, kind of, I'm capturing the external device. It should still show up the same way I'm seeing it, but yeah, that was pretty bad lag. Anyway, um, that's about it for this video. Next time, we're going to go into some of the actual levels in Autumn Plains and make our way forward in the world. Now that we've uh, wrapped up the stuff in Summer Forest we couldn't do without a new skill from Climbing Plains. Not Climbing Plains, Autumn Plains. But you learn to climb there, hence Climbing Plains. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, w when we come back next video, I'm gonna check out some of the levels in this world. There's one just there, we can see. And there's some over there, and there's a gem in this little, little passage that's here too. Let's grab some gems. I like gems. There we go. 
Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!